It's Friday. Ugh. We're sick, and Typhoid Mary gave it to me. You did. You totally did. I come in Saturday to do extra work, and who's throwing their snotty tissues at me? Laughing. That's because your immune system is down, darling. No, this is because we got drunk Friday night. Shh. <laughs> you got the Kleenex. I got the Kleenex. Hold on. <clears throat> Don't rip at them. Okay. Okay, now we're good. <sighs> I think I just blew it into my ears. Oh, Here, let me show you something. I used to do this in the workshops. What? How to blow your nose. How do you blow it? People go like this and they go, <laughs> they yeah. go both no, no, that you shoot, if one's blocked, you'll shoot it back in your so station. How do you do it? You station tube. You go close one nose hole. Like People that? now blow it close. Yeah, but just do it with your hand. Now you just oh, oh, oh. push one and then go. <laughs> Little short hit. Oh, that's much more effective. And See? Dab, dab, dab. Orgasms to blowing your nose, Betty Dotson knows how. Um, when you've lived this long, you know how to blow your nose, you know how to wipe your ass, you know how to take a shit, you know how to, or you wouldn't be alive. <laughs> you would have survived. <laughs> Never and we're drinking it. tequila as Just, a stimulant. <laughs> yes, this is not alcohol, it's medicine. It's medicine. It's so hard. <laughs> okay, well, I don't, what are we talking about today? I don't okay. even remember. Okay, here it is. I do. What? Because I've had the cold longer than you have adjusted. She's two days ahead of me. <laughs> I'm going to write to bed after this is over. I Sweatpants. want to discuss the whole concept of coming out. Which you mean, mean like gay coming out? No, heterosexuals have got to come out. I think we have to take sex public. Thank you. And I'm going to coin a term that the gays have known for a long time. Silence equals death. In our case, mm. heterosexual or bisexual... Silence equals repression. Yes. If we can't talk about what we're doing sexually and share that information with people, nobody under knows. our own names, nobody knows what's going on out there. When I first started off in this business, a big name in the industry was asking me if Carlin Ross was my real name, and I was like, "Of course." She's like, "Well, it's on the front page of the New York Times. Like, you should pick a pseudo name, like a porn name." And I'm like, "Why? Well, I have nothing to be embarrassed about." But you know, can I remind you that? Before we got teamed up, mm -hmm. you were anonymous. I was. I hid behind Cherry Bomb. Betty, I nailed you on that you one. Did you nailed me? And when I went to, I went to look at her website. Who the hell is running this? I don't know who this person. is. I was where, nervous. There's nobody there. It's like you know, anonymous. And I'm thinking, uh-uh, got a problem here. And I questioned you about it. You did. You did. It almost like killed the partnership. She's like, you need to come out. And I said it was because I had a stalker, which I did, which was legitimate. But I think uh, really, uh, 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 it wasn't about that. No. It was and a, if you had come out earlier, you wouldn't have one. I know. It makes you too public. I'm so liberated now. I'm so happy. Everything's easy. Everyone Ugh. knows like what I do Ugh. in my life. Ugh. I can't believe I do this video series every week, and I have no problems. It's it's fantastic. It's the best thing I ever did. Okay, really so was. so the first time I had to deal with this whole thing of going public with my first book in 1974, liberating mm -hmm. masturbation, people would come to. Are you sure you want to do this? You know you. People know you as an artist. Why would you want to ruin, you ruin your, your career? And I'm going, listen, if I'm doing I this, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there are other people doing it, and why, why should I be ashamed? Why can't we all talk about it? What's the big deal? So I did it. And you know in my little book, the chapter's called Going Public, and everybody read it, Going Pubic. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to go pubic, uh, public. <laughs> And uh, just be upfront, everyone, folks. Please. Just be us. Be who you are. Be sexual. Be proud of your sex life. Be exactly. proud of what's going on in your sex life. And share the info. And they say, how do you start by sharing it with one of your best friends? And how you can do that is don't talk about partner sex. Talk about your latest orgasm with masturbation. We got an interesting question this week from the message boards from one of my favorite members, Brandy. Um, which kind of tied into the theme of what we're doing today. I'm 26, in a relationship, and have had webcam masturbation with a 21-year-old guy. It was fantastic, but I feel guilty that I did this. How can I get over my guilt? Just stop feeling guilty. You know, guilt is like, as far as I'm concerned, it's like an addiction. It is. It's like, you want to stop smoking cigarettes. We know it's not easy, but every time the feeling of... I want us to light up a cigarette. Whenever that feeling would come up, I'd simply say, I don't smoke anymore. I don't do nicotine. Push it out of your head. 
And so the same thing, oh, I feel guilty. When that thought comes up, I don't do guilt anymore. Push it out of your head. Well, when I told her, I said, what? Guilty? I used to have webcam masturbation sex with this, like, 18-year-old from the Midwest. I said, who was harmed? Did you cheat? I don't think it's cheating. And know what she admitted? She wrote back and said that she realized that, you know, the sex was kind of stale with her boyfriend. Part of that was her fault because she couldn't have sex with the lights on. And that after doing the webcam, because this young kid was so excited by her, she had the confidence and she did it. And she's like, I had the best sex. And then she said, thank you, Betty and Carla. And I just want to tell you guys, I love the site and how going to the general art gallery really healed a lot of the genital shame she was feeling. Yeah. Shame, guilt, it's all, it is so passe. It is, Mm -hmm. it really is so much under our own control. Okay, cheers to our next week podcast when we're not sick. See you next week.